stop mm. it. They say our days are being numbered and the death is predetermined. I don't know how true is that, but I have no reason to live anymore. I don't know if the fate has today as my last day. But I guess I'll make a room for it anyway. Teach me thy Guess they are right. Maybe it wasn't my time yet. A spur of the moment. And I'm still standing here. Alive. As we are all life energies, we are given this body and mind to play a role, become an actor on this planet. By default, we are all love, joy and happiness. But a complicated and powerful machine is also given to us as we call it, the mind. Which is so smart that it starts to improvise and acts differently to the script given by the creator. As we deviate from the actual script, we start to get distracted with so much of other accumulated things. And our mind starts making this whole act or drama into a mess. And that's when we say, my life has become a mess. We're asking too much. Lord, please help me. Hope is the one thing that can help us get through the darkest of times. Too 
Hope is being able to see that there is a light despite all the darkness. God wants us to be receptive. The light of hope is everywhere. Only if we are open to it. In reality, life is still love and joy. But we are so occupied and immersed in our mind-made character that we are unable to see reality or our real character and real purpose of our existence in this act or drama. Our complex and powerful mind shadows everything. So get up and control the beast. before it starts to control you. The word I can, I must, and I will. That is the way to change yourself and achieve absolute victory. You will never win unless you make the effort. God has given you mental dynamite that is sufficient to destroy all your difficulties. It is the most effective force you can use to be victorious in life. Be as simple as you can be. You will be astonished to see how uncomplicated and happy your life can become. Karma is defined as the relationship between a person's mental or physical action and the consequences following that action. And no being can escape from performing karma. Sometimes we expect so much from life without giving in the efforts required to see the fruits. And that's what law of karma makes us to realize. If we simply do our job, which is to make an effort, and let the God handle the rest. We have done our job successfully. Fight. Fight when you think that you can fight no more or when you think that you have fought your best. In your actions, don't procrastinate. In your conversations, don't confuse. In your thoughts, don't wander. In your soul, don't be passive or aggressive. In your life, don't be all about business. Always remember Control of actions begins with control of the mind. If you have a strong mind, and a firm resolve planted in it, you can change your destiny. Try again. 
no matter how many times you have failed. Always try once more. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah, I, I did call, but uh, I just got dragged into something else. Sorry about that. Yeah, how's it going with you? Yeah, all okay. Just trying to get back on my feet again. Uh, listen, I wanted to ask a favor, if you don't mind. I mean, you know, I've, I haven't got any job for a while and I was thinking that uh, maybe if you know someone who can help. I mean, anything, anything really. I just want something to be busy, you know, just to get occupied. Anything would work. Okay, bye. Just do your deed with the least expectations. And let the God decide what's best for you. You must be patient and persevering. Nothing is accomplished by those who are impatient or early discouraged. If you want to be sad, no one in the world can make you happy. But if you make up your mind to be happy, no one and nothing on earth can take that happiness from you. grow and help people to grow with you. Do something in the world, something wonderful. Whatever you do will be recognized by the God. And if the world fails to recognize you, if you have done everything you can, that infused mental power will remain with your soul. Wherever you go, in this life or beyond, you will have with you that invincible spirit. Hey, how are you doing? That's good. And how are you keeping up with your journaling practice? That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, if you're doing nothing, why don't you come down to the center and maybe volunteer to help setting up the next event? Awesome. Okay, then see you. The light you have been looking outside was there within you all along. Turn inward and see the grace. Look around and find love everywhere. Every new effort after a failure must be well planned and charged with increasing intensity of attention. Begin from today, try to do one at a time the things you thought impossible for you to do. If you fail while putting forth your best, your utmost cheerful effort, you have not failed my friend. Get up and march on.